20th of August. We are on the road for our first trip of the year to get stuff set up in North Dakota. Aaron and I are heading up to Camp Dink right now. We are going to scout out a bunch of different areas, get a bunch of cell cams hung up, and uh, see what shows up. Uh, opener's just under two weeks away. Should be fun. Um, we are excited to kick off season 10. I can't believe uh, we're filming our 10th season this fall. We're over the heat, we're ready for cool temperatures, ready to climb trees and, and chase some deer. Bader, back at the dink. Just got unpacked and organized at camp and we are rolling out. It is pretty warm out here for North Dakota. It's probably gotta be in the 80s. I was out here about a month ago marking a bunch of spots on Onyx. A um, bunch of new spots we've never hunted before so we wanna check them out. Completely different than last year. Last year it was a drought out here. A lot of these marshes were dried up and uh, it's, it's very green out here. They've been getting a good amount of rain and the crops look good. All the marshes are holding water so it should be back to a normal year in North Dakota hopefully. First camera of the year has been deployed. Sending pictures of the phone, we're in good shape. Brennan went down the other way from this field. I'm just kind of walking this edge. Just trying to kind of see if we can get in a tree anywhere. That is all just a huge marsh that runs along through there. Really nice bean field right here. And uh, there is a good tree right in there that we could get in. It's getting up and time to get after it. We gotta find some coffee first. You're a grumpolo and a coffee, but I need my coffee, all right? It's getting hot. Oh. It's gotta be lunchtime, but uh, pretty productive day so far. We were down further south this morning, now we're kinda up north quite a ways. But we found a few nice looking spots here uh, the last couple hours, so we just stumbled on another one that looks pretty good. Had to stop back at camp, activate some more cell cams. We're throwing a pizza in here quick. Two hundred and forty-two pizzas. <laughs> That is gonna be a wrap on this trip. We got uh, a lot of spots set up, cameras hung, um, a lot of good trees picked out that we can just hop up in if uh, the spots are good and good bucks start showing up. So we are, what are we, like a week and a half out from opener and uh, now we just wait. We got a couple good bucks already starting to show up on the poultry edges, so that's good. Only being out for a couple days. So we're pretty much going to organize camp, get it ready, because the next time that we show up uh, next week, we're going to have a full camp. I think we got six guys coming out, so. Jimmy's eight ball. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Ready to start fires. Always. Give me old essentials here. Me and Blaze are headed out to North Dakota. Uh, it's about like just shy of five o'clock right now. Um, we're gonna be there around midnight. Good boy, you made her door. You're almost from Canada. Good to see you, JP. What's going on, buddy? Morning. 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 Been watching the camera What's tonight. Up? Not tonight. Biggins. A couple bullets showing up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
sipping some coffee this morning. That's all you're gonna give me, it's opening day. It is opening day, <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, hey! Good talk! <laughs> Let's see if you got anything better. Well, I fell in a hole last night and sprained my ankle. <laughs> so we're icing, wrapping up. I was able to get in the loft and out of the loft, so. Figured I'll be able to get up a tree. It just might take me about an hour and a half. That's all I got. You can go to Brennan now. Despite the injuries, we're gonna power through and have us an opening day here in North Dakota. Well, we're just pretty much all done uh, shooting bows. We're gonna get our heads wrapped around tonight now. So. I think I'm going to a spot we call train station. Looks like a good area. There's two bucks that are on there pretty consistently. So, looking forward to it. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Anticipation has been killing me all day today. Uh, it's finally here though. The season is upon us. So, two bucks we're after and I'll probably take either one of them leaning towards Ferguson he's a little more massive but either one I, I want to kill a velvet buck so never done that yet so should be interesting well it's September the 2nd opening day here in North Dakota it's crazy to think we are starting season 10 but we are back in the spot that we love to be every year to start things off and uh, couldn't ask for better weather. Yesterday we had highs in the mid 90s, today highs in the low 70s, so about a 20 degree temperature drop to start the season off. You can't ask for anything else. We got three guys out here this weekend. It's gonna be one hell of a way to kick the season off and uh, we got some deer doing what we want them to do. We just need them to mess up again tonight, so. We're gonna sit back, relax, enjoy the, enjoy a, a beautiful view here. We're blessed to be able to do this again for another year. Hopefully we we'll get lucky and punch a tag. These two bucks keep coming around this bend, we think. They keep on entering uh, the camera from the right side, looking that way, so yeah, from over there. Um, they've, they've come out over there once, but Either way, the wind is sitting really good right now. We got a north wind coming straight at us, and um, it's pretty windy right now, but it seems like it's gonna calm down here pretty soon, so hopefully it happens. I have a good feeling. I've had goosebumps all day, so I'm jacked. It's about quarter to eight now. Um, got a little more time here uh, until the sun sets. Uh, I think about eight or nine, I think the sun sets. Um, so far we've had a couple does, like 350 yards out, kind of just walking around. Um, nothing other than that, but it's definitely cooled down. Wind's still, still a little bit breezy, but uh, hopefully it calms down and you get to see some deer coming through here.
down. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh. I saw him go down. I'm pretty sure. I watched him the whole way and he, he took forever. He was moving so slow. And all of a sudden I just saw his body just drop in the grass. 11 yards. <laughs> I think so too. I'm pretty sure that's where he's in. He's got a Snapchat from Elliot and Hunter. Hunter smashed one. So that is perfect. That's what we wanted. That's what I wanted out of opening day. What a stud. Look at that. No, this, oh, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> what a stud. I got my Nodak buck right here. Uh, first velvet buck I've ever shot and first out of state hunt that I've ever been successful on. So super pumped about it. Uh, he actually went down like right where I thought I saw him go down, but uh, had second thoughts and just didn't know if, if you know I saw something wrong or what, but uh, turned out you know, I just should have just trusted my gut and stuck with it. But uh, I just want to say thanks to Elliot for coming out here. I means the world to me. Also to JP and Brennan. Uh, without them, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Uh, super pumped about this. Let's go drink beer. One of the year, hanging. Can't beat it. Jim's cooking up a fish fry. Gonna be a good night. <laughs>